Hey guys. Hey buddy. So, um, real quick, let me just uh, go through the, the basics here. Um, I am drawing in blue pencil. I'm going to try to get through this as fast as I can so that you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just laying in sort of the basic lines of how where I want to draw stuff before going with any detail. Uh, if this is too dark for you, be sure to crank up the brightness on your viewing device all the way up. And then also, if you are using a cell phone and it's too small for you, be sure to... Um, Rotate your phone horizontal. Hey guys, everybody's showing up here. So that's my basic spiel. And I'm gonna try to get through this very quickly, this part, because I'm gonna get into the meat of things. How's everybody doing today? How's your Saturday? Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Michael. Hey, Desiree. Hey, Carmen. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Pam. Hey, Janet. What time is it in the UK, Janet? So, yeah, um, you might be able to start see, seeing what I'm going to draw. I just want to get, um, I don't want to get too far into it because I tend to, when I'm feeling uh, a little not less confident, I, I tend to stick with this. I use this blue pencil as a crutch and it's unnecessary. You guys can't see, so it's really not, not helpful for anybody. So let's get into this. Hey, Terry. So today, uh, if you notice the title, <laughs> it says use your imagination, sir, is that is uh, something that Anna, if you guys don't, or if you guys recall, she said that to me on one of the lives. So I was going to draw something that Anna was into. For those who don't know, Anna's my daughter and she likes unicorns. Who doesn't like unicorns? But uh, yeah, I was just going to mainly, I want to get through an entire, my whole, what I want to do on Saturdays is get through one. Yes. Oh, sorry. Also, I was thinking you should make the unicorns more yeah. cool and shiny. Yeah. And then they have a little bit here. All right. All right. Can everybody hear me okay? Let me know if you guys are having issues with the mic. Cool. Michael, you got your t shirt tumbler and your mug. And notebook is coming soon. Sweet. Gail, you think it sounds okay? Is it? Um, all right. So, yeah, I'm going to draw a unicorn today. Also, kind of gives me practice and drawing horses. I learned how to draw horses uh, many years ago. I was in a college class and the instructor brought us to a, a stable uh, where they trained horses. And so we got to draw 
horses running around and exercising and, and so we're able to get gesture drawing and live action poses of, these, of the horses. So it's always good to learn how to draw things in motion. I mean, it's easier to draw something stationary, but learning how to draw things in motion is definitely um, it's a good, good trait. All right. Cool. You can, everybody can hear me? Good. I tend to be quiet, but I have a really good, strong mic here, but I just always want to make sure that you guys can hear me. Yeah, also I learned how to draw a, a lot of animals through gesture drawing, um, going to the zoo, drawing animals at the zoo. It's very helpful. Hey, Lisa. Susan says, trying to live over here on this platform, watched your fun shorts a bit ago. Love them. Cool. Appreciate it. So, yeah, I'm trying to trying to grow out my uh, hey, other, other platform here. It is growing, so that's good. But I still have a long way to go. So... Anybody watching over the, over here on this other platform, I appreciate it immensely. Michael says, cool, Aaron. My horse sketch has started from my Conan the Barbarian comics. Oh, yes. I love Conan the Barbarian. To read those comics when I was a kid. <laughs> Lisa says Anna was so funny today. I loved her bee costume. Yeah, it was. It's actually as a housefly costume. <laughs> <laughs> Laura wants to know is there anything i don't like drawing um hmm. um i think when i was younger I, I i would tend to draw the things that i was only felt comfortable drawing but this time around i want to try drawing things that i'm not very used to drawing so that i can improve um, one of the the things that um, I try to do now more is more backgrounds because I'm not really I've never really been a landscape artist and never was into that. So now I try to to do it more. Jordan says, I like it better here on this, on the other platform because it's better quality video, I think. And that is true because it's, it's, that's basically the main thing behind this platform. It is about 
the video quality. But like I said before, I'll, I'll play it on both platforms on different devices just to have. That's great. I appreciate it. Deborah says, I'm in San Diego. I love our zoo. Yeah, San Diego Zoo is awesome. Been there once. It's a huge, huge zoo. But I enjoyed it. Right, when I went, I remember the uh, they had panda bears there. I don't know if they're still there. But just remember, one of them was just, it had its butt just facing <laughs> where the people were like it was just completely not into being viewed i mean don't blame them i wouldn't like to be stirred up by a whole bunch of people day in day out Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, if, if you guys can, if you guys can get the word out to other people that I'm on drawing right now, that is that would be very, very much appreciated. Oh, it just started raining outside. I wonder why it started getting dark. It tends to happen here in Florida. From my experience, at certain times of year, just every day it rains sometime in the afternoon. So I think that that started again. Thanks, Barbara. Heather says, my daughter and son are getting together with some friends to do Bob Ross painting tonight. They didn't get their artistic talent from me. That sounds like fun. The group Bob Ross. Did they just watch an episode and paint along? They're phthalo blue and titanium white. There's <laughs> all those colors you used to always talk about. I never, I've never done um, oil painting. I've done acrylic and gouache and watercolor, but I've not ever tried oil painting thanks Tanya Lisa says are you getting excited Aaron for your parents to come visit yeah I haven't seen them since early 2020 I'm a little worried about their safety because they're going to be traveling on the airplanes and being exposed to all, all sorts of stuff, but hopefully they'll stay safe. Um, but my dad's high risk, so they've, they've, they're all, they've, they tend to be pretty cautious and, and uh, just got to touch base with them just to... Make sure they're staying safe on the trip. Jordan says, I work at a horse camp in the summer, and I always wonder if one day we might find a skeleton of a unicorn from the past, if they existed. That would be pretty amazing. Don't Aren't unicorns supposed to be um, what is now sea foam? Isn't that what the legend is? When you see sea foam, it's actually... Unicorns. That's what I was told anyway. Ah, uh, nice, Michael. <laughs> Envisions Decker dozing off and dreaming of you drawing, Aaron. Nice Blade Runner reference. One of my friends uh, got a dog recently and they named, named him Deckard after Harrison Ford's character from Blade Runner. You guys like science fiction movies and you haven't seen it it's probably one of the greatest science fiction movies of all time in my opinion
<laughs> Lisa says, hi, Anna. I bet you're watching in the other room. I bet she is. Hey, Aristea. Haven't seen you for a, a while. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks, Donna. Hey, Karen. Hope you are well. All right, I think I'm pretty much done with that. I'm gonna just get into my inks here. Okay. All right, find my right, right pens. Sorry, I gotta make sure you can see what I'm doing. Sometimes I just get so into what I'm drawing, I forget that you guys are need to see what I'm doing. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks, Jacqueline. Hey, Sharon. How's it going? So I always like to just go in with a little bit of thinner line just so I can get some of the littler details in and then I go back in with a thicker line when I'm finished like right when I'm finishing up my inking so that um, any areas that need to have more stronger lines or more attention to it that's where I will go back over thank you Sharon yeah, so just so you guys know, like, um, it really helps me, or any any page that you're interested in, you like, if you just, you um, press the little button to, to spread it around, because that, that, that um, kind of massages the algorithm into deciding whether it should go out to more people or not. Even if, if on your own page, uh, you don't feel it. So, all right, let me go here. All right. Almost finished here with my inks. Then when I'm finished, finished, I'll probably go over with an even thicker line because I, I just don't want to. One of the things about when when you work with with inks is you gotta wait for it to dry, right? So if you use a thicker 
ink pen. It's going to take longer to dry. So you don't want to then go over it with other, other markers because then it starts smearing because it hasn't dried yet. The, the, the pens that I work with, these pens here, I, I love them because if the ink is dry, it's not going to... It's not going to smear, but if it's still wet, it's still wet ink, then it's going to smear regardless of how they work while it's dry. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks for coming over here, DJ. Appreciate it. All right. Okay. I think I am ready to start in inks here. Let me just do a little eraser work. Did you know that, that uh, the national animal for Scotland is a unicorn? I heard that. I thought that was pretty cool. I think all countries should have, they should have like a regular real animal that, that's representative of their country, but. I think it would be cool if every country had a fantasy animal as well. That'd be fun. If you didn't know, I'm really into fantasy, the whole fantasy genre. And uh, the cool thing is, so is my daughter. And that's on her own. Like, she got into all that this unicorn stuff and fairies and stuff on her own I, I did not influence her on that so uh, she's got good taste forgot to do the nose see that's the cool thing about when I start uh, erasing I always find little bits that I forgot to ink in thanks Dorothy markers out. So I'm really, I'm really excited because if you guys have been watching for a while, and I did mention this on, a earl, on an earlier live, but you'll notice if you've been watching, remember how I had like the creaky chair? It's not creaky anymore. Because uh, my friend Sharon sent me some silicone in a spray can. And then I was able to use the silicone to uh, lubricate all the creaky parts of this chair. And now it's quiet. DJ says, Texas now is a state animal, the armadillo, but most, 
mostly because you find the belly up on the side of the road. So uh, that's new. Uh, you, you guys just adopted the armadillo as, as your state animal. I would have figured that would have been state animal for a while now if it wasn't uh, cattle. Hey, Vicky, no worries. Thank you for, for being here. Thank you, Karen. Thanks, Joyce. Thanks, DJ. Appreciate it. I want to get this, the shadows, but I also want to make, make sure that it still looks like it's white. So I don't want to go too far. to go back over again just to blend with a lighter color so it kind of smooths out stuff a bit a unicorn I hope it looks like a unicorn <laughs> but uh, you know it's whatever you want it to be
Great. Thanks, Erica. Thank you, Norma. I love art markers because you can blend with them. It's really fun for me. Hey, Angel. Thank you, Lynn. For you, Anna. <laughs> Liam says, the bottom and fall off of our delivered cat treats today. So my cat's out of field day. Oh, man. You know, I I, uh, I had a cat at one point, and uh, we had the, the cat food in um, a little pantry, and... I just didn't put two and two together because he kept going in there into the pantry. Then he would come out. I didn't know what he was doing. No idea what he was doing. And I went in there because I was going to feed him. And he had eaten a hole into the side of his food bag. Just, it was exactly the size of his head. <laughs> so he was just helping himself. Funny guy. Yeah, Liam, let's <laughs> serve yourself cat food. Absolutely.
Leaves is one of my cats keeps eating holes in the bags of litter. Oh no, what are they? Hope they're not eating it. They're just being bratty. Like what? What? What's the? Uh, why? <laughs> That'd be my question. Why would it want to have access to a bag of litter if you already have the litter set up for the cat? <laughs> We're just talking about cat food now. All right. So I'm just blending the hair in. Make it, trying to make it a little smoother. Tries says, Anna will want a unicorn just like this one. Yeah, she loves unicorns. And that's why I drew it. Because Anna loves unicorns. I like unicorns too. I don't know if I love them, but uh, they're pretty cool.
Yeah, Diana, that was that was the hope. It was your right appeal to to Anna with the uh, pink and purple highlights. Like I was saying, at the end, I like to go back and uh, work on the uh, outline. So let's do that. And make sure you don't drag the hand through. Sure that you guys can see what I'm doing. Thanks, Linda. Thank you, Pebbles. Glad you like the colors, Gail. Sorry if I'm being a little quiet. I just was trying to focus on these lines. I didn't want to mess them up. Because this, this is not as... Uh, when I go on with this line, it's a little bit more... I got to commit. It can't be as loose.
All right. I think that should do it for today. Um, I should do a little shadow. Yes, Charlotte. That's <laughs> that's the only thing I don't like about being left-handed, doing drawings and getting smudge marks. Yeah, that's the way. That's just life for a left-hander. Smudges through everything. Um, but you know, you find ways to get around it. I, if if I wasn't doing this on the left, I'd probably turn this whole thing sideways and I'd be drawing down this way. It's the way I write too, so I don't get don't go over my my work. All right, let me just date this year it's the 20th man it's already the 20th all right guys thank you so much for hanging out with me and uh let me talk to you and draw stuff uh i appreciate all you guys as usual and i will talk to you guys very soon i got a lot more drawings that i gotta work on this week so i'll be doing that. Think about me. All right. Bye.